Welcome aboard this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign and we are now clear for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have live launch liftoff. Good morning everyone and welcome on board this flight um, where we are going to show you a fantastic new launch. It's hot off the press. It was on TV yesterday and we have it here for you now. Um, my name is Natalie. I will be your captain today. Um, it's going to be a good flight. It always is when I'm in the, I'm in the front seat. Um, we are not alone today though. Joining Hunky Dory Headline, he Airlines today is a fantastic new hostess. Um, you will have seen her before. She is incredibly talented. She is the, the mind behind this fantastic collection we're bringing to you today. Um, it's none other than Stacey Algamry. Hello everybody, it's nice to be here. Um, you may not recognise me because my hair has grown quite a lot in lockdown. I know! It's a little bit weird. It, it's um, like you're like a totally different person. And it's very hot. Are you even Stacey? As soon as this is finished, it's going back up. So, yes. It does it's, look it's lovely very weird. though. Yeah. I love your new hair. It is very, very nice. Um, so, may I request the attention of all of you um, watching here today because we have some important in-flight information for you. Um, we have a few announcements before departure um, that I would like to, um, to make you all aware of. So our pick of the week, which we launched on Monday's The Craft Show, less than 50% of those festive word combos are left. So if you want them, you're going to have to act fast because I don't think they'll be here by the end of the week. So 50% of our pick of the week has gone, which is, is, is quite good actually because the last two weeks that it's gone within an hour of the show. So you do have some of these left. If you want to get it, it is um, Moonstone Bund 119. It's 39.94, but not this week because this week we have our spend and save. Um, this is a, bra a fantastic promotion. We bring this to you I think every year now. Um, so for this week only, it's spend and save. So if you spend £25 and use the code SAVE5, that's going to bring, give you £5 off your um, order. If you spend £30, oh no, if you spend £50, then you're going to get 10% off with the code SAVE10. If you spend £75, you're going to get 20% off with SAVE20. And then if you spend a whopping £100, which I could definitely do, um, then use code SAVE30 for £30 off. So that is actually going to bring down this pick of the week. If you buy the pick of the week today, you use that code, you're going to get some money off there, aren't you, Emily? Yeah. You are. You're going to get money off. So do we know what it's going to come down to? Yeah, I think it's £5. £5? Pounds. Pounds. So it's going to come under, no, just... Is it thirty-four ninety-four? Is that we all know that I'm not good at maths. No, I'm not good at maths either. I'm good, it's at, not I'm good at flying planes, clearly, but I'm not good at maths. <laughs> it is thirty-four ninety-four. Thirty-four pounds. So it's going to come under thirty-five pounds. So it's a great time to get those combos. Um, but it's also going to be a great week to, um, if you haven't yet bought them, to possibly add in today's. Um, launch because it is absolutely fantastic but before we get on with the rest of the show let's have a look at our show plan okay so on today's show we have win it weekly competition um, I have been watching this all week from home and it is brilliant it's such a good question um, next up we then have the happy town at Christmas collection we then are going to look at some card makes um, for inspiration 
and the lovely Natalie is then going to do some Happy Town demos, which I'm very excited about. We had a look at them this morning. Yeah. And then finally, we're going to do Hunky Dory Craft TV schedule. So exciting. It's so exciting. I know. Okay, so Win It Weekly. This is brilliant. So, in case you haven't seen it this week, um, you can win an adorable scoreboard adorable scoreboard mini. It's quite a mouthful that, isn't it? I know. It's a bit of a mouthful when it's your first day back and in the office as well. <laughs> I um, I'm used to being at home and not really speaking much. So this is a challenge for me. But if you would like to win, there will be five winners. And the question is, all I want for Christmas is, is it A, a pink scoreboard? Is it B, Alan in cowboy, cowboy attire? Depends. Good choice. It, is it? Yeah, it's a good choice. Or C, is it you? And there is a right answer. There is a right answer. Um, but I absolutely love people's um, like comments to this question because there's a lot of people just commenting with whatever they want. Um, I think if I was commenting, I'd actually put my whole Christmas list out, like what I actually want for Christmas. Definitely. Especially with the, the spend and save. Yes. Now, don't tell Dan this. Oh no. But at home, instead of working, I just spent an hour just going through the website, picking out what I wanted. <laughs> so I have a list ready for my spend and save. Imagine as well, if, have you ever seen those random things where people like, I think it's called like random acts of kindness, and you can, like, people just send you things. Imagine if you posted what you wanted and then they got delivered to you. It'd How, be amazing. Oh my God, that would be so good. But I could definitely spend hundred pounds. Definitely. I'd be buying those combos. I'd be buying today's collection. I'd be adding in um, some prison products, most likely the alcohol markers because they are my favourite. Um, so I'm probably up to about £75 there. Um, maybe low tap tape. That's definitely necessary. Scissors, because oh, yeah. I always lose scissors. Yeah. I'm terrible for losing anything like that. Um, but I, I could definitely do that. Um, but yeah, our Win It Weekly competition, if you haven't entered already, get commenting, get liking and sharing for with the question below. Um, and if you have already commented, comment again, because you know, you might, you might be in with a chance of winning and there's gonna be five winners this week, which is epic, five winners. Um, so before we get on with showing you the launch this week, let's have a look at some fantastic models. Okay, so this is our product um, that we're going to be looking at today. This is the Complete Happy Town Christmas Collection. Um, if you've seen Happy Town before, um, you will recognise some of these favourite characters. Um, so let's go over and have a look in more detail at them. That was a nice little walk, Stacey. I'm impressed with that. I know. That was a really good walk. I will, yeah. <laughs> I'm were not going to lie. Were you um, hoping for a little bit of VT? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we we'll, we'll just good. go with it. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay, so um, I think Natalie has the boards that we can look at generally. It's here. So let me see if I can get how close I can get this to you because I want you to be able to see it. That's a bit better, isn't it? We can see our face. So we'll quickly go through. Um, should we start over here, Stacey? And then, because I know that you have some fantastic pointers and ideas and loads of different things you can talk about. Yeah. Um, so this is Santa's reindeers. Yeah, so this, um, they are all A7 stamp yeah. sets. Um, there is 10 stamp sets all together and each stamp set has like a little bit of a mini theme um, but they have all been designed to work together as well. So 
The first set is Santa's reindeers, mm -hmm. and you have three different reindeers all doing different things. So one's standing, um, one is sitting down, and one is also flying, which is perfect to use with the sleigh. Um, so you can create you know, that classic um, Santa reindeer flying over a town. Um, and the, the detail in the sleigh, you have all those presents. It's quite incredible. So, it's perfect for colouring in. Yes. Um, there's just so much you can do with it, and as we go along, you'll see how the stamp sets start. They're quite versatile, aren't they? Together. You can mix and match them all together. Um, next one is Santa's workshop. Okay, so these are Santa's little helpers. There are four um, stamp sets. Stamp on stamp. this set. <laughs> stamp. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Um, so you have uh, a little elf carrying all the presents. Um, you have one with a little wheelbarrow with all the presents in. And then you have a little one sat on a stool painting his little wooden block. And then finally you have the one that is ready with his present and his little hammer. He's ready to so go. It's such a cute little set. It's perfect. I mean, all of these are perfect for kids, um, you know, for kids' cards. We, sort we've of making like Christmas colouring book pages as well, that would be a yeah, good idea. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, um, there's so many ideas that we've come up with for this though, it's really great. Um, so go on. Should we go through the first five? And yeah, then let's I'll go through the first five and show then you we'll some move cards on. and stuff like that That's rather a good than idea. going backwards and forwards. Okay, so the next one. Um, is this the nativity? This is the nativity. Is. So, um, we have done a nativity set in the past. Um, this is a brand new set from um, In the Happy Town style. So you've got Mary holding Jesus, you've got Joseph, and you've got three wise men as well. But you also get the little stars, so you can start building up the scene. You can start, I mean, when you see the paper pad, you can, you can see how you can start adding embellishments in and stuff like that. Definitely. So, I mean, this is great if you want like cute nativity scenes, but also if maybe you've got somebody in a school nativity. Um, I mean, we've we've talked about different ideas with this set as well, so you could create your own um, nativity people and then put like little stands on, so they can start having like a little play set. Um, it's, it's it's just such a cute set. Such a good idea, that Stacey. I love that. Um, next up is Mr. and Mrs. Claus. So Mr. and Mrs. Claus, uh, you have three different Santas because you can't can't just have one. No. Um, you have Santa checking his list, um, whether you're on the naughty or the nice list. What would you be on? The nice, obviously. Oh. Obviously. I'm sure Dan will probably not agree with that. Well, Dan won't agree with that, but that's why <laughs> Dan's not here. <laughs> All, work Dan and home Dan, we're talking about here, both well, Dan's. Well, yeah, yeah, both Dan's. <laughs> um, you have Santa um, just in a standing pose, which he can be standing next to Mrs. Claus. I do like that. Um, and Mrs. Claus has got such lovely detail. Um, she's got like little uh, holly sprigs in her hair, um, nice little pattern on her little pinny for. And then cute. you also have Santa in like a seating position. Now this will work with the um, armchair that's in the set. You get an armchair and then you get some uh, presents surrounding it. So he can be sat in the armchair. You can use the armchair by itself if you really wanted to. But also, going back to the first set with Santa's reindeers, Santa can then sit in the sleigh. It's very so true. if you saw Natalie's demo yesterday on Create and Craft, um, she actually used masking sheets to do this. But if, you, if you're not comfortable with masking, just stamp and cut it out if you want and then just layer it up with foam pads. And it would look really nice with foam pads too because it would give that dimension that he's, he's really there. Yeah. It looks so, really, really good. But get creative with it as well. So you can have Santa sitting on all sorts. You can have Santa <laughs> sitting on the shelf. The, there is so much you can do with it's, these. It, it does give you the ability to be really creative, which is um, what we love to do here at Hunky Dory, especially with stamp sets like this. Um, and then the final one, which is so cute, is um, the little gingerbread men. This Love is this. such a cute set. And if you've gone ahead of us and looked at our die set, um, you will know that these will per work perfectly with this. Perfectly. Um, so you have 
I would say two male orientated characters. Um, one has a little top hat and another um, with the Christmas hat. The Christmas hat. Thanks, Nat. It's okay. Um, and then you've got two more female um, gingerbread characters. So one has a well, I think they both have little bows in their hair. Um, but if, within the stamps, they've got little details to represent the texture of gingerbread biscuit. And you also have the Christmas tree, um, which is in the same style as well. So it's like a little Christmas tree, tree I, biscuit. I really, really love these um, ones. But these work by themselves. They work with the other characters. They work with your gingerbread box die. It's it's a perfect set. It's I mean, it's a must have for Christmas. It you can't not is. have gingerbread no, at Christmas. It's so so perfect. Should we have a look at some inspiration and some cards that have been made with these? Yeah. Okay. So I've got a very large pile. I know. We should have sorted this pile out. I do no, apologize. It's, it's nice to see what everybody has done. So is back there. Okay, I'm getting used to it now. <laughs> no. Right, so um, this card was made by Kat and it's got, um, it's using the paper pad, which we will come to later on. And then you've also got Santa popping out the chimney um, and then the Christmas sentiments that we launched earlier this month, last month. Um, um, yes, the so end of last It's really month. quick, easy. It's only using one stamp. So if you've got the whole collection, Think about how many different cards that you can make with these, with this whole collection. There's um, so many things that you can do, not only just cards as well, um, sort of like bigger projects, but they are super cute. I love this one. This one's so really cute. This is using the Santa's Little Helpers. Um, she's just stamped it. Um, who's done this? Rachel um, stamped uh, all the different elves and colored them in and then used the presents um, to create the border uh, and then this one I like this it's such a simple it's really nice but stunning card it's really really clever how she's done that and it's it's quite a quick card so if yes. you're in and you're in a bit of a rush you've forgot somebody's Christmas card and they've come round yeah um, you can quickly make this so it's just um colored cardstock they've stamped it in black and then cut around them and layered them up it's such a really nice it's just really nice all these are really nice loads of people are loving the collection so thank you very much for all your messages um Catherine loves these cards um, loads of people joining us and saying hello today which is really lovely um Pamela says good morning from Pam and crew uh, crew holds a special place in my heart it's very strange to say that. Yeah, why? Um, well, that's where I went to uni. My campus was based in Crewe. That's where I met Dan. It's a very random place to uh, go to uni. Well, oh. that's where the Manchester Metropolitan campus was oh, for my okay. um, study. So, yeah, it's very strange, very strange. But hi, Pam from Crewe. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Claire and um, Violet joining us this morning, Stace. Oh. Hi, Claire and Violet. Hello. We miss you. We want you to come in soon so we can see you. Um, Claire is our fantastic um, designer who um, went on maternity leave in April time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Violet is a beautiful little girl. Um, I have we also very much miss her. that my mum has come on and said hi, ladies. Hi, hi mum. <laughs> hi, mum. <laughs> Can't not say hi to your mum, can you, you? You can't, you can't. There's loads of people joining us, loads of people loving the collection today. So let's get into our first demo and we'll show you some really good ways in which you can utilise these stamps. I'm back. So these stamps are quite small in size because they're only on these small um, little stamp sets, A7, is that correct? Yep. A7 in size. But that doesn't mean that you have to make small cards with them. I'm going to show you a really fun idea which um, I thought up of yesterday. So I already have, let's show you, I already have what the finished product is going to look like because um, I had some fun colouring this in yesterday. Um, so this is 
going to be our centerpiece of our card and it has um, the different reindeers, the different Santas on there. So I'm going to show you how you can create this. Um, so let's start with, and it's super simple, I'm going to take a tape, a tape, and let's just put this so I get all my people on here. And I'm just gonna lay it down on a piece of ink me. I've got my hunky dory pencil and we're just gonna make a light sort of guide here, um, which we can use to then put our characters. So I need to get my Santas, my reindeers and my elves. And then we're gonna start off just placing these around the circle. So we'll start off with Santa and then our elf, oh, I've moved it. So Santa, elf with a present, and then we've got this elf here, and this one down here, and then we'll fill in the gaps with We've got our reindeer, so we've got our one that's prancing about. I'll just stick that in here. So you want to sort of equally space them around the centre circle. Um, it doesn't matter if they're not if they're just off that circle a little bit, um, and that's because we are going to cut this out, and the centre of the circle is just going to be um, a little. So we can put Santa in a bit more on that bit. Um, let's get our laying down one. And then we've got Mrs. Claus, we'll throw her in there as well. And then the Rudolph standing up. So then once you've got this around your centerpiece, we can just pick up all of our stamps. We'll use um, Memento for this because the way I've coloured this in is using our alcohol markers. So you need a permanent ink to use your alcohol markers. Is it a permanent ink or is it the other way around? Have I got that the um, wrong way? Bers you, it's Bersifarin opposite, isn't, isn't it? Permanent ink, so you can use that with water based. Um, yeah, and, and, then... and the opposites. So Memento is, it's not water based, is it? It should say on the back. Is it a pigment it's ink? Based. Water based. It's water-based. So your memento is water-based. So I always get that mixed up, but you want to use your memento because opposites attract when colouring. Um, so if you're colouring in alcohol markers, you need to use a water-based ink. If you're colouring in your watercolours, you need to use a permanent ink so that when um, and if you use um, sort of like your water brushes to drag the colour out, it's not going to leak and then the opposite when you're colouring in with your alcohol markers um, it's not going to make the nice stamped image sort of bleed around so missed some bits off there but that's okay because I've got my press we can go back in just need to these Rudolphs are pesky we just need to go in again with the ink where we've missed it just on those three bits and then we'll pop it back down we'll go I over some, our images there sorry Done again no. some people um might look at what you're you're doing and seeing things missed the only yes. reason why it's being missed is because there's multiple stamps there's loads of if stamps you were to stamp here. individually it would be they fine. would be perfect first time but because sometimes stamps have different um, like levels, yeah. So you just need to add a little bit more pressure in certain areas, which is why the platform is perfect for using multiple stamps at the same time. Because you can then lift it up, you can pick it down, and you can see where it's going to go. And then you know when you're going to go back in with ink, it's going to hit the spot every single time, um, and it brings up a really nice image. So I do know that my reindeer is just missing a little bit there, but it's okay because um, we're going to use this one. So then what I've done is I've just cut around. I actually use scissors to do this, which is madness because there are some quite detailed areas in here. But I cut around all my characters up to my line where it was the circle. So then what we're going to do is I just need to take my craft knife because um, I just want to take away, get this ink off my hand, just want to take away under the elf's 
um, body here. So we'll take that down. We have got lots of people watching us this morning. Um, I know we've had a few questions as well. Oh. Uh, just going back um, quite a bit, um, I think we had Michaela. I'm hoping I say that right. I'm really sorry, I'm rubbish with names. Um, can we see some nativity inspiration, please? Of course, as soon as Natalie has finished her yes, demonstration, there's some I have little... arranged the cards, so we will show you um, some more inspiration before we move on to the other stamp You're sets. a good egg stay. Um, lots of people saying they love the cute collection. Um, Gail says, I love your top, Natalie. Thank you. It's very summery. It is very summery, which um, is completely opposite to how it is outside because it's not a summery day today. Um, um, Tracy asked, um, what is the stand that you are using? Um, that is the um, Premier Craft Tools Stamping Press. It's out of stock at the moment, but as soon as that comes in, get it. You yes, won't regret it. You really won't. Um, I have been using my acrylic block at home through lockdown and Natalie kindly sent me my stamping press from my desk the other day and it is amazing. Yeah, it saves so much time. I don't know how I've so got through lockdown time. without it. Um, lots of people saying that they love the stamps. Um, so. Any questions, please keep them coming. Yes. Um, and any thoughts and inspiration as well that you have for these because um, I'd love to hear what you have in mind for what you're going to do with these. So I've just used the same green that I used to colour in my elves um, to create a border here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, what size is this actually? I hope I didn't need to cut it down. I think it's the right size. No, yeah, that's the right size. So I'm going to put this on an 8x8 card because they are small stamps, but you can make really big cards with these. So this is um, 7 and 3 quarters. And then I have this really nice red here, which I'm going to use. So I just need to um, keep going along. But because we have this really large chisel tip, it's great for um, colouring in large spaces because you can just lay that colour down. Um, you might have to go over it a few times. You can use the opposite end. Sometimes it comes out a bit better that way. Um, so let's keep going making our border. And then I'm going to incorporate some of our combos um, that we launched on Monday's show, which are still available. They're our pick of the week this week. Um, there's fantastic festive combo dies and I think they work perfectly um, with this Happy Town collection. So Stacey, yes. obviously you designed um, Happy Town, yes. um, which I think everyone who has seen Happy Town absolutely loves it. I don't know how you, how you can't like Happy Town, it's just the best, the best thing ever. Right, so we've got our border there and then I'm going to take I'm going to take more ink me because I think I'm going to put a white border around it just to make it pop a little bit more. So we've got that which we're going to stick. Let's stick this to our card blank first. Um, so Happy Town comes from your brilliant brain. Um, we obviously had the occupations first. Yeah. So what made you think, do you know what, we need a Christmas in Happy Town? I think Christmas... There are so many different themes of Christmas. So like the traditional style, the, Chris, the cute kind of style, and we couldn't not, I mean, everybody loved Happy Town when they first came out. We couldn't not bring you the cute Happy Town characters. Um, and the nice thing about this is that they're all sized to work together. Um, so if you have the previous collection, you can mix and match. So you've got Christmas characters, you've got the previous characters, just think of the possibilities, the town that you can make, um, it, it's perfect. I really like the idea of having like um, the police um, like shouting at the kids in their uh, dress up costumes. Yeah, making too causing much trouble. Yeah, causing too or, much trouble. Um, there was, I think there was a little robber on there, so you yes. could be stealing the presents. Um, but also, if 
um, you've got like doctors and nurses on there. So if you've got somebody special in your life that has worked really hard throughout lockdown, how nice would it be to have a personalised card that has the doctors and nurses, but then it's also got the Christmas characters on there as well. Um, or maybe it's um, a child with a parent as well that's got somebody working throughout lockdown. Um, it'd be really nice because it's, it's personal and they would understand that with the images and stuff like that. So I think that's it, a good idea. It just, I think with Happy Town, there is something for everybody. Definitely. So whether you get the full collection or you get individual stamps, there is always something for someone in your life. I agree. And you know what? I think my favourite thing at Christmas is making personalised cards. And I said it on the show with Lowen yesterday. Um, getting cards where you've got made up some a family, um, say your um, your close family or friends, and they've got kids, and there's four of them. You can make them their own personal little card where you you know you've made them out of snowmen or you've made them out of um, gingerbread men, and then you've got like their family name on there. So if I was going to make one for my mum, it would have like the Musprats on, and we'd all be made out of snowmen. Um, I think that's a really great idea for these stamps too, because um, there's nothing better at Christmas than getting something personal, something handmade. I mean, handmade Christmas. I think that's what everyone loves because. Christmas is expensive. Christmas is so pricey. But if you can make one thing for someone that is personal to them, I know from experience that that means the world to them more than anything that you could give them. Definitely. And especially if you stretched for money at Christmas. I know last year um, I was moving and had a few things going on. So I said to my family, instead of doing gifts, this year would you mind if we just did Christmas cards so I did something a little bit special I made individual Christmas cards and to them that was much more special than me giving gifts um, especially when money is tight so I think this is perfect it is and like you said as well making like little play scenes for people you could if you have nieces and nephews you could do that if you have um, grandchildren you can make them their own little sort of Christmas activity packs, activity um, gifts. That would be a really, really nice idea. So, like I said, I'm gonna use the combos with this. So I've chosen the Merry, um, which came from um, those beautiful festive combo dies. So we're gonna put this in the middle like so. We're gonna add it on foam pads, but I'm gonna add in the Christmas to this as well. So, I was going to be really, I was, let's just try it with, I might ruin this card here now people, because <laughs> I'm going to use a block, Oh no! but it's okay, hopefully it's going to stamp on there, so I'm going to stamp this in the bottom, on the centre there, yeah! Well done Natalie. I should really believe in myself more. You should, because really all your cards are fabulous. <laughs> Thank you, Stacey. And take half the time that Dan takes. So oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to sort that out, aren't we? So I watched that yesterday. He did such a fantastic job. He did. His cards, His cards are still here up on the side in the studio. He clearly wanted me to, to look at what a fantastic job he'd done. Um, they were great. He did a really good job. He did. He, the cards are fabulous. And... I know that sometimes you can get a little bit nervous, but he didn't come across as nervous at all. It no, was he didn't. It was so um, good. And some of the quotes he came out with just really made me laugh. Yes. Um, my favourite is, come on this crafting journey with me. It's come on this crafting journey. My favourite quote ever. Um, but yeah, I think the cards will stay up there. And I the shelf so. may even become Dan's, Dan's, like, shelf. Dan's wall of fame. Yeah, I think so. I think we leave them here. And then every single time Dan does a demo, um, because I'm sure you'll want to see Dan, Dan do some more demo. Maybe, maybe we might get him doing a stamp in and die, a die show. But I, I very much doubt that, to be honest with you. Um, but we've added our sentiment on there. Um, if you wanted to sort of avoid those lines which you can see on my background, I'd recommend using um, the blending 
pen that you get in with your alcohol marker so that's just going to smooth out those edges make it quite nice and clean um, I could have used some matte tastic here but I wanted it to match up with my elves I'd already colored in so I'd use the same color there um, but that's a really nice way of making big cards with these because they are small they allow you to create massive scenes to really experiment with what you can do with them um, but I just loved this idea Sheila did a card actually which kind of follows the same um, idea here but it spins do you yes, have that one? I think I do have that one. We'll get that one for you and Stacey's going to show you some more um, fantastic inspiration uh, from our card makers as well. Let me bear with me while I try and find the spinning one. It's very, very cool. Is it this one? Spin the this wheel, one. yes. Okay, so our lovely Sheila has made this one and... Where did I go? No, there can't be doing this left and right up and down and <laughs> um, the this little wheel spins how cute is that it's so really really you cool could, um, you could also make a little game with yes this. what if you colored each snowman in like um a different color mm -hmm. and played like little mini snowman twister that would be good other games are available but twister is obviously the best in my opinion of course <laughs> okay so shall we show you the next five stamps that are going to be included in this collection and then we'll get on to um, those fabulous cards so I know some people are wanting to see some inspiration of how to use um, certain um, stamp sets here so the f huh oh we can I can move them across okay so we'll do a zoom this is good right we'll start here my absolute all-time favorite Christmas dress up. Christmas dress up. Um, I accidentally, without knowing, drew Natalie as a Christmas present, um, which is brilliant. We have that. Do we have that? We I do. Did bring it back. Shall we show people? We do. So this just proves how absolutely fantastic my um, costume collections have been. Thanks to my mom because I definitely didn't make these myself. Oh. Look at Natalie. <laughs> I'm a present. This is Natalie as a present, and. Genuinely, I drew these um, in lockdown, so I've drawn, I've drawn them at home. Natalie hasn't seen any of them. And then when I sent her all the final designs, she was like, wow, it I'm is like, me as a it's present. It's me. And she sent me this photo. It's such a cute one. It's and my favourite thing ever. Are you a cracker here? Yeah, I'm a You're Christmas a, cracker. It's an interesting cracker. We just need to show appreciation for those fantastic it's costumes. A, it's, it's, yeah, Because I it's think brilliant. Amanda Muspratt has done a fantastic job there. So that is our Christmas dress up. But as you can see, they're so, they're, these are so fun. Um, if you've got kids in nativities, um, if you've got kids that, um, or younger children that have, you've bought them costumes for Christmas, you can make scrapbooks. You can, if you're building sort of like um, a journal for um, your babies and what, seeing how they've developed over time, um, you can make scrapbook pages, put these on it or really, um, jazz them up but just making cards with these because the pad that we're going to show you a little later on has some fantastic images that these can fit right in the center of this uh, that, sorry going back to that set that also works really well with the nativity set that you yes. that we looked at earlier because you've obviously got the angel yeah um, which works but then mm -hmm. you've also got the donkey you do um so it's just a it's a brilliant set. So it it's works really possibly well. Possibly my favourite. I think it's quite quite possibly mine for sure. Mainly because it's just me um, <laughs> on that stamp. Next one we have a happy family. I really like this idea. Do you know what? I think that that main stamp image is perfect for couples that have just moved in together. Definitely. First Christmas at home. Um, so the, the main stamp on this one is quite large um, compared to the other characters, but the characters are still the same size. Um, the two characters are dressing the tree and I've tried to design them so they can be male or female depending on how you call them. Um, and then you also have three different children as well. So you have the child getting ready to wrap a bow with the present. Um, you have the other child holding the present and then you have another one which is ready to put a bauble on the tree but also you can use this with um, snowmen or sentiment so it looks like um, they're adding the bauble onto the sentiment 
So there's lots of options with this. And then the single present as well. So that's perfect. Like we saw before with the um, Santa's Workshop set card that we looked at with the present border, you can stamp that multiple times and make more presents behind the tree, decoupage, it, it, it's perfect. Next one, oh, oh, wrong way, which is super fun. Well, we can do the next three actually, that's a good idea. So we have um, snowman, snowmen and friends, this is cute. Um, I love like, these. Yeah, like I said before, this is a really good one for building those um, personalised family cards because you've got, um, you, can have, you can have mum, dad, snowman, children's snowmen and the dog, which I think is really good. So if you've got a dog in the family, you can add that too. Um, but just a really nice card for um, making making up a really nice scene, I think. You can make a really big card with that as well. Um, that would be really cool. You've also got the two little characters at the bottom. Um, one of them is kind of making a snowball. Yes. Um, and then the other one has their arm out and it kind of looks like the the pattern down the snow on the snowmen mm -hmm. so you can see how you can really build up that scene and then later on with the play in the snow set these two work really well together yes they do they work excellent together so in the middle of that we've got christmas dinner which I is a fun this. it's a really fun collection i just love um, christmas dinner in general yeah um, so it's great it's great to be able to to give thanks to Christmas dinner with this, this stamp yeah. set, Stacey. Maybe you're going somewhere for Christmas dinner and you want to say thank you um, for cooking the Christmas dinner. That'd be really cute. Um, you have the male character, but again, depending on how you colour it, it can be female. Um, and they are holding the Christmas pudding. You've got another character with little pigtails and they're holding um, the Christmas turkey. You've got... A character in the middle getting ready for his Christmas dinner with <laughs> the knife and fork and maybe this is granddad maybe this is dad um, and then at the bottom you've got the two characters that are pulling the cracker and they are separate stamps as well so you can make the explosion um, with the two separate explosion stamps you can make that as big or as small as you want so maybe um, have them with the pick of the week set so you can have the sentiment coming yeah, out of the explosion um, there's so much you can do with that because they are separate oh. stamps they're, they're brilliant and then finally and then play in the snow play in the snow so cute it is cute so again this will work with your snowmen and friends um, these are the characters that you've again seen in the previous happy town sets um, one is throwing the snowball another one um, is also th throwing the snowball but just a, in a different direction so they can have in a snowball fight and um, you also have the sledging um, character and then you have one that's rolling a giant snowball so again works perfectly with the snowmen and then you have a little pile of um, snowballs and the splats as well and the snowball flying through the air and they're all separate stamps so you can see how you can start really building up a scene and a story. Maybe it's a storybook. Um, it's just a, a, a great set. It is, I really, really like really it. They really well together. Um, do we have cards to show for these yes, days? Yes, we do. Um, so if we just go back to the previous five that we had, um, that way. Um, so this is uh, using the nativity stamps um, and the paper pad. So you can see Mary and Joseph there and you've got the little star at the top and then you can see the nativity scene here so you've got Mary Joseph and the three wise men which is really cute and then you have um, Natalie down here in, in the present yeah um, the other characters as well and then you've also got the angel which is on a bit of ribbon so she's I love that How such a clever that? idea and the Christmas tree as well in this background is from the happy town happy family set so they've stamped it and then cut off the people um, so you've just got a really cute Christmas tree and then finally for the nativity set I've got 
Oh, this is the um, I love dress up set. this one. Look how and look at the dimension of the curtains and everything. And Natalie in the centre, centre stage as always. Always. It's such a cute set. And then we'll do a few more. Do demo and then we can look at a few more later on if you want. Definitely. Okay, okay. so you've got this, which is the um, San Mr. and Mrs. Claus. You've got Santa's Workshop Elves and you've also got the Santa's Reindeer. So this is three different sets and you can see how they work together beautifully. Um, this was made by Kat and I'm trying to see what prism markers. Would they be the alcohol markers? Yeah, I think yeah. they're the alcohol markers that she's used on that. But it's a good idea, isn't it? Like a little snapshot um, a of, cute card as of well. the different elements. Um, and then you've got, this is what I was saying about Santa's reindeers. So you can stamp multiple times, draw um, the little in between your bits, I don't know what they're called, like reins. Reins. And then you've got Santa sat in his little sleigh going over the little town. So you can see how you can start building up unique cards. Um, you could have four or five different um, reindeers if you wanted to. This is, this is so good. When I saw this, I loved this card. I saw this and loved it. It's so clever. So this little character in here is Santa coming down the chimney. Um, the little snow dog from the Snowmen and Friends has been coloured in to look like a, a normal dog. Um, and then the rest of it is used with the paper pad. So part of the paper pad includes a little scene with Mr and Mrs Claus in there and it's been decoupaged. But look how cute that is. So good. Um, then you've got this one, which again is using the same scene but in a different way. Um, so obviously you can see that before cutting out for Santa, you've got um, the little fireplace in there, mm -hmm. you've got Mr and Mrs Claus, you've got the little doggy as well. Santa's workshop, so you've got the little elves and all the toys in the background, which is part of the paper pad. And then finally, how cute is this one? It does it's a bit, there we go. We'll go that way. Um, so you've got all those different characters. You've got Santa in his chair, you've got Santa, Mr. and Mrs. Claus up here, and then you've got lots of different elves. But I, I love the little, um, the aperture frames of this. It's really cool, it's such isn't a it? Cute Just using our nesting dies to um, lay them up and create different scenes. And um, I re what I wish I'd have done with this, because I did this yesterday on telly, is I wish I'd have used that paper pad more and different stamps and in every different um, section I could have had a different scene going on, like a different Christmas scene. Definitely, um, but yeah. that's something that you can experiment with at home when you have um, more than 15 minutes to get it done. Because um, it was quite stressful doing that in the time that we had. So I'm going to do another demo. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different. It's quite a quick one, this one. But I think this, this is going to be great to do with kids um, because it's something fun. It's something that you're going to be able to spend quite a bit of time with them with. You can make these for the house, put through um, the kitchen to add, make your own decoration because you can always buy sort of those, um, the ones in strips, the bunting in strips and yes. then you fold it over, staple it, put it together. Paper chains, that's the one. Um, we had those, we made some of those last year I think at Dan's mum's house. It was it was crazy, they were everywhere. Um, but this is another idea to use these stamps. So what I've done is I've used our um, banner nesting dies. Um, and as you can see, we've got them out laid out here. We've got four different ones and I've used one stamp from every single collection that we have available. And I'm just gonna use some VersaFine and I'm gonna stamp my image centrally on all of these borders. So let's take these off and these are going to be really good and if you um, you could sell these on your stall as sort of like make your own bunting um, you could pre-stamp them like I'm doing here um, put them you could pre-stamp them put hole punches in the top put them in little bags um, and I'm sure you could pick up like packs of crayons or colouring pencils quite um, easily and then you could 
put them in a pack, sell them on your stall as make your own bunting for Christmas. Um, it would be a super good idea. I, if I saw this on a stall, I would definitely be buying it because um, I love making my own sort of Christmas decorations every single year. Um, so I'm just carrying on, just using my acrylic block for this as well, um, which is actually filling me with some anxiety because I've not used an acrylic block in so long. I am officially a stamping press a stamping press girl but it just shows how well they stamp using your acrylic block because every stamp I've used here from all the different um, collections that we've brought to you today they are stamping wonderfully on here and giving out such a clean image so once we have all of our people on here you can um. use just a quick question now. I don't know yeah. if you've still got them out. Um, Heather has asked, what size are the foam strips that Natalie is using, please? Um, the foam strips that I used, I'm not sure what size they are, but they are, there is different selections. So I think they're two, I think I want to say three mil and five mil, but that might be wrong. If we have a ruler, I could measure them. Should we measure them? We must have a ruler in here somewhere. We do. Let's see. They are... One, two, yeah, three mil, three mil and five mil strips. So they come in a pack like this. Um, half the pack is three mil, half the pack is five mil. Um, but then you can cut them down and they fit amazingly with um, our combo stamps and dies because the text on there is just the right size. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my screw anywhere hole punch. And I would, I would definitely do this. Not even if you have like a, if you don't have a stall that you go to or a fair that you do, you could do these online. I know lots of people um, have been selling sort of crafty things to do at home with the kids. So this is another great one to do at Christmas, to pass the time, um, to do in the weeks build up to Christmas, to do on Christmas Eve, because Christmas Eve has to be a day where you just watch films and have loads of fun. So if you use my hole punch, you could use a regular hole punch if you have one. And then I would just take some twine, thread it through, um, or just leave it in a pack like this. Fold them all up, put them on with my, um, in with a pack of pencils. You could make them up. If you have kid, uh, kids in the family, you could do this and send them to them. Let's see if I have a piece of ribbon that's long enough to thread through. I have to tell you, this morning was a little bit crazy here at Hunky Dory Crafts. We've got some, um, we've had some lovely, lovely people join us back in the office who haven't been around or haven't been in for a very long time. So it's lovely to have them back in, um, Stacey being one of them. Um, but it was a little bit crazy, wasn't it? Making sure that everyone was comfortable, everywhere was, everyone was safely Distance. Like distance, yeah, moving computers, moving computers, moving desks. Dan's um, been a busy body today, I tell you. But I have to say, it's so nice being back. Thank um, you. I do enjoy working from home um, in my pajamas most days. Um, however, I do miss the team here. Well, you um, know what, Stacey? I think that we suggest to Dan that we have a pajama day um, well, next week. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well. Um, Sorry, Nat, just a, a quick one. Yeah. Claire has asked, what is this week's question? Oh, please? let's go through that um, again, shall we? Our Win It Weekly right? question. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay, so if you missed it at the beginning of the show, if you would like to win an adorable scoreboard mini, there will be five winners. And the question is, all I want for Christmas is, and is it A, a pink scoreboard, is it B, Alan in cowboy, cowboy attire? Or is it you? <laughs> it might be you, don't know. It might be. It might be. So I think lots of people have already um, commented, so you can- You can see how, look how fun this is. It's so fun. I'm not gonna call this in, because I, I honestly, Stacey will tell you, I spend hours coloring. Um, but this is so fun to do with kids. You can make so many of these because you have the dies, you have the stamps. It's not like you're going to run out at any point. Um, you can even bring in some of that fantastic paper pad that we're going to show you shortly. 
um, to decorate the outside you could do a layer that's a little bit bigger with a fancy pattern around the outside and then have your stamps of course you've got your combos if you got them or if you're looking at getting them to go with this collection you can have use your stamps to write Merry Christmas on the third one each time but I love the idea of creating something that you can make with other people um, because crafting with other people is fun and crafting with kids is just the best it's great to have um, get the kids being creative love it love it um, what have we got next to show everyone um, we have a few things so we can either show some cards um, which is the last last few cards okay we've got the die and we've also got the pad which one do you want to do next shall we do the die and the pad and then we'll do a little demo using that of course let's do um, that so the let's do the die first yes so this if I get it in the right place that way okay so this is our gingerbread house moonstone gift bag die set um, they are fabulous they have been designed to work perfectly with the size of your happy town characters and um, you get the the base here which cuts out and you've got all I don't think you can see it on this camera but you've got um embossed detail here which is the little roof and you cut this out twice and then to make the box and it's really easy to put together you have all the different embellishments so you have cut in windows and um, you have the door that cuts in so it will actually open um, and then you have like little mini frames so if I go here so these little frames will fit down around your door. You've got frames for the windows up here. You've got your little tag here, which will fit um, if you put some ribbon through, would look perfect on the little gift bag. And then you also have the um, like trees, you've got the candy cane, um, and then you've also got plain panels as well that will fit under there. So. There's no need for you to, if you want to have one colour underneath and then another colour on top, you don't need to cut and size anything. They will just cut to the perfect size so you can mat and layer onto there. Um, if I show you the packaging as well. So the dies come like this. It's quite a large pack. It's £24.99. Um, you have all the dies on the front so you can see what you're getting. On the back, you have all the dies underneath, which is in this. So keep the packaging. Um, and then inside, when I can get it open, you have step-by-step step of how to make this. We've gone into a lot of detail. So it looks like there's quite a few steps here, but they are so easy to make. So easy. Um, you could easily cut a few nets out and give them to children to just stick with um, the glue sticks or just some tape. Um, I mean, we've, we've said they're gingerbread houses, but they could easily be any type of house that you want them to be. Yeah, it's up to you on how you decorate them, how you colour them in. So the possibility is really endless with what you can do here. There's some great samples as well, Stacey, yeah. using this collection. So you can see this one, Kat made this one. Um, so you see this is using um, the paper pad elements on the front as well because there is a sheet within the pad that the dies will work perfectly with and cut out everything in size and then she's just used um, some of the pearls to use as Christmas lights so you can, that's super cute and then this one in craft card and white is absolutely stunning i love this one did you you made something similar like this did. yesterday didn't you it's here shall i show it so mine i made out of craft card um oh but i added some little fun elements to it so you can see i've added the candy cane stripes i've colored the um door and the windowsill so they match we've got our different colored lights here um, on our trees and then we've got them following through on the sides um, and I love um, how easy it is to um, colour in this top bit panel here um, because you can just, the grooves are so easy to follow so you can just use your white gel pen um, and follow those in if you want to. Other than that, we have some fantastic um, 
texture paper inside our paper pad um, which you can decorate your um, gingerbread houses with if you want to. I think this one is using some of the papers from the paper pad so you can see really quick and simple and um, just layering it all up here. The other nice thing about this which is I've designed it purposely for this um, reason is you can have it as a gift bag or if I I don't want to break it but if we undo this if you were to fold in this top part oh. you can actually make a little roof instead of it being a, a house a house I'm gonna break oh. this I'm sorry I don't I know who made it there. but and then you can just stick those bits together so stick those bits together but uh, I folded it along the first score line if you were to fold it along the second score line here and um, this folds in completely it's just that's it, such a clever idea it's always better I would have never to, thought to have done that to show you then oh, um, that's so clever and I've seen you can tuck these bits in so if we tuck those in they're oh no I won't because there's stuff inside um, these actually will glue together so it's like a little mini house as well so you don't have to have it as a gift bag if you don't want to you just have it like as a little house decoration you could put lights in there you could put a little um, electric tea light in there as well so it has been designed with multi-purpose in mind it has it's very very clever indeed um, let's show the paper pad and then we will show you how fast it is to put um, one of these gingerbread houses together because they are made up super fast it's incredible okay so this paper pad I'm gonna do it there yeah so this is a I'm just checking six by six paper pad um, and these have this has been designed by our lovely Alan who you've all met before um, and it's all been designed to work with the stamp so you can stamp straight onto this because it's uncoated cardstock or you could stamp and then place your characters on here if you want to but you've got the, um, the little scene with the fireplace and you have multiple so you can decoupage you've got the wonderful winter sort of town street scene and I don't know whether um, anyone has got the you know the builder Build a town, build a town guys. Set. Yeah, so you can start adding in your um, lamp posts, things like that, and adding snow onto them to really make a 3D scene. You've got the Christmas table, which is perfect for the Christmas dinner set. If I do all these, and then I'll do the the back. So you've got the gingerbread house. So this is where your dies will fit perfectly. So these have all been sized, so you can cut these out using the dies oh there we go okay. um, and then you've got the armchair scene so you can have Santa sat in the armchairs or you can add your own um, I mean you could even cut off all of that and just have the little um, this little top part little bit yes because it is six by six but it doesn't mean that you have to just make six by six cards with it either because you can stick two pieces together and sort of extend the scenes which we did yesterday on the show um, you can cut them down so they're even smaller there's so much scope for what you can do with these paper pads um, it's just about being quite clever quite creative um, yeah. and really thinking outside the box and also when we design these um, Alan always sends me the pages and I always ask him to cut them down to five by five as well. So if you want to make smaller cards with these, they have been designed to be cut down or obviously you can make them larger as well. So you've got the Santa's workshop with all the toys and um, you've got the little stable for the reindeers or your nativity scene. Uh, you've also got the nativity sort of play scene. Um, to, this is the one where they've decoupaged all the um, the curtains, the curtains and everything. But you could really add lights, 
coming like actually shining down with this. Putting some lights behind that as well, Stacey, would look quite fantastic as too. And then this is another sort of winter town nighttime scene, so you could have Santa coming across. You've got your stable for um, the nativity scene as well. I like how all the paper on the opposite side coordinates really nicely with it. It looked um, really nice. I mean, that, so that full, full thing there, even though that's two separate sheets. Just stick it together. You can hardly see a seam. No. And that's without lining anything up. It would look so good just stuck across. And you've got another cute little town. And then if I quickly go through the papers on the other side, so you've got, um, I'm trying to think. Stripes. Red, red, green, and slightly bluey purple stripes. Oh, don't do them one at a time, we'll be here all day. <laughs> um, you've got that wonderful scene of snow falling. You've got the glow. I like that one. That matches the stable. You've got that wonderful glow in the centre. There's some really snow. nice um, like outside background scenes here, isn't there? You've got the little striped paper, which could, it looks a little bit like wrapping paper. Yes, yeah, it does. You could stamp onto there and sort of cut around there. Um, this um, has been made into kind of like a gingerbread, gingerbread texture. You just stamp your gingerbread men straight onto that. You wouldn't even Definitely. have to call them in. Um, you've got the toys, which is a lovely background paper just Very on nice. by itself. These are tiny little, um, like four dots together to create the larger pattern. Uh, the yellowy texture, which again can be used with the um, gingerbread men. Yeah. Got the lovely green paper, which could be wallpaper. It could definitely be wallpaper. Right there. You've got the brick wall, which again is perfect with um, the outdoor scenes. Um, I think Kat used that on one of those cards you sh used, showed first off Stacey to create like um, a chimney to have Santa popping out of. Oh, that'd be really cute. Yeah. You could also use this um, to create a house yes, look yeah, rather than could. a gingerbread look with your die. And I think that's all of them. I think that's oh, no. all of them. One more. A little green one. A little green one at that's the end. It. That's all them. Okay. So that is your six by six paper pad. Uh, it's nine ninety nine, and it will coordinate perfectly with all the stamp sets and the die set. And it is within the larger bundle as well. So yes, that large get bundle extras. includes everything. Um, but you can add as much as you want to um, your large bundle if you're going for that today. So you can add in um, maybe an extra stamp set for. If there's one that you really like, um, you could add in an extra paper pad, like Stacey said. Or um, if you don't want to get the full collection, the stamps are available on their own and they're available on a really good deal. Um, is it three for two for eight pounds? So if you get um, if you want to get more than one, you, there's a great deal in there for you as well. So I'm going to show you now, um, just quickly, um, to end the show, how to put together your gingerbread house. So you get all the elements that we've seen here. They are they make some absolutely fantastic projects, but I just want to show you how simple it is to put this together. So what we've done is we've cut two panels out here. Stacy, if you pass me that die set that you've got there, I'm gonna um, we're just gonna put in um, our window and our door. So let's put these in because these are cut in dies so they're going to um, leave your house with so much um, fun stuff and also um, if you want to you can these don't have to be this way around you can have sort of longer windows if you want to so we could do that you could have the windows here you could have a triple window the possibilities are endless you can just get these home have a play around with them and create some fantastic fantastic things but um, I just want to show you how quick and simple they are to put together um, because this is going to be a great addition for Christmas this year. I know 
I'm going to be making these boxes at Christmas. I'm going to be making these boxes, I'm going to be making gingerbread and I'm going to be bringing them into the office. That's what people are getting from me this year. You're going to be getting gingerbread in gingerbread houses, handmade by me. <laughs> Everyone's getting one. If you could fill it with like some chocolate and sweets and stuff, that would be great. Okay. Maybe, people... I, maybe I'll do different selections. Maybe I'll do some that have got gingerbread in and then some that have got um, like dolly mixtures in, so they're like Hans Hansel and Gretel houses. Oh, that'd be so cute. It would be really good. And all, um, there's, but there's loads of things you can do with this. So I had a thought yesterday and I wish, I wish I had the time to have been able to um, kind of bring my idea to life because it was really good. But if you um, want to use this in a different way than those gingerbread houses, what you can do is you take your scissors um, and just cut um, along the score lines here and cut the tab away. Cut this top line here where the score line is um, and you can use that on the front of your cards. You can do that um, in many different papers that we have in the kit. You can make your own storybook. So it starts off with the gingerbread house as the front of the book. You open it up, you go through all the different scenes from the paper pad with all your different characters in there. Um, if that's something that you like to do to build storybooks, you can definitely do that. That would be a really nice thing for the kids to get involved with too, making their own storybooks. Perhaps they've got a, a school project. Um, this is going to be good for that. Uh, Elaine says, can we all have one, Natalie? Yes, I'll make um, them for everyone. I'd like to say you could get Dan involved, but it might be a couple of Christmases away before you get them. Yeah, we might be a bit slow, <laughs> bit, bit slow on that one. <laughs> so I'm going to just, I've just added red tape to the bottom of three tabs. So one of the large ones and two of the smaller ones. I'm going to pop the two tabs down and then we'll stick that larger one on top and then stick the one that has nothing on it down like so. And then the best way to do this is just press down to make sure that it's nice and secure. You are using red tape, but you just wanna make sure it's really secure. And then we can bring our tops together. So this folds downwards, this score line, and then this one folds upwards. Um, so it sort of pinches nicely together and you get that nice sort of square look on the top of your card and then these little bits here have um i couldn't do this yesterday you know here we go i'm going the wrong way that's why have little catches on so it keeps your gingerbread nice and fresh if it's just made you're ready to take that out um, but you've got your little door on there you've got your windows on that side um, so you can then just add any of your accessories, you can cut them out of Mattastic, cut them out of your paper pad, add them on if you don't want to do that. There's so many different things. You know what, I also thought of another really good idea, because I'm, I'm full of great ideas today. <laughs> um, if you stuck these together, but you, did, you left one tab, probably this side, if you left this one tab open and you just stuck the buttons together you could stick this with velcro and then you have a house that opens up and it's like a little poly pocket oh, and you could really make cute. your little you could stamp all your little people in there have them on say like little plastic bits and then you can m make it as like a little a little christmas playhouse um the possibilities with these stamps are endless um, Hopefully me and Stacey have given you enough inspiration today for what you can do with this collection. Um, but if you do want to get this collection today, go online to hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. I'm sure there will be a banner there with our live launch um, and all the details on how you can get your stamps and dies and that beautiful paper pad home today. Um, what's next? What do we need to do? Um, I have to well, refer to my cue cards. Before we, before before we, we move, move on, on, somebody has suggested that we have a ginger box challenge. Oh, now. Mm. I don't know whether this is too controversial. And you know what, I feel really bad because this scoreboard challenge thing was actually my idea. Right, so all of this drama is your fault. Well, it is my fault, yeah, because I should have put rules. I should have put rules down, but it's okay because if you join us on Friday's show, 
um, I'm gonna I, I'm getting another chance because when I did my first one I cut my card in my time we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that because no one else did that no one else did that at all and um, so I'm gonna have another chance I definitely I'm not gonna beat Dan I know I'm not I'd like to think I could but I might not but we'll see we will see. I'm sure he's going to sabotage me in some way. Because well, I was just about to say, I'm free on Friday if you want me to come and sabotage no, him. Dan, yes, yes, please. <laughs> sabotage is welcome. I may not get paid next month, but <laughs> it'll be worth it. Um, okay, so I presume we're moving on to the TV schedule? Yes, let's have yeah. a look at what's coming up. Okay, so um, on Friday, um, I know a few of you on the comments have asked about Sheila. Sheila is back. She is. She's back. So on Friday at 9.45 and 2.15 p.m., uh, Sheila will be launching the new Moonstone Peace on Earth collection. Um, it's a Moonstone collection. Um, if you got our Lily Pond collection last year, you won't want to miss this. Um, so that is on Create and Craft at 9.45 and 2.15 p.m. Um, and then, are we doing a prize in the rollover box? Yeah, let's add a prize to that rollover um, box. Uh, do we usually have it out or do we just... Behind just you. behind you at the just top. Oh. <laughs> um, so we're going to add in the Prism Ombre ink pads. Is that the whole whole no. collection or just a few? Just a few. few. Um, and then I think, unless you've got anything, Natalie. No. Um, Nothing join to us um, for our next Facebook Live show um, this Friday, um, 7th of August at 10am with the lovely Dan and the lovely but naughty Daniel. Did I say just say yeah, Dan? You said Dan. Dan and Daniel. It's just Dan and Dan. Just Dan and Dan. Dan and Dan. That's all we need. Dan's going to be over there talking. And then because he did some fantastic yeah. demos the other day, we're going to get him over to the demonstration station. So it's just going to be Dan. Just, just Dan. Just, just Dan. Yep. Uh, Natalie may may come into that uh, every now and again, uh, but mainly just Dan. Um, and they will be fan launching the fantastic Miri card collection. I'm very excited um, about this. I be think. Fun. Is that everything? That is everything. That is everything. Um, so thank you very much for choosing to fly with Hunky Dory today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed your. Um, your flight and there wasn't too much um, crazy turbulence going on. Um, we hoped you liked um, the product that we launched. Um, thank you so much for being here today, Stacey, and joining thank me. Thank you for having me. It's lovely to have all of your inspiration, especially because you made this collection. And I, you know how much I love the stamps and dies that you do, but this one, this one is, it, it has been one of my favorites. Um, but we hope to see you on board again soon. Um, we hope to see you for Fancraft. It's Friday. Um, but until then, we shall say goodbye and have a fantastic Wednesday.